Welcome back to the channel. I am currently at my parents' house. Chase is working behind me in the background. And today I wanted to film a little video on styling a couple of different outfits, dressing them up and dressing them down. So I wanted to pretty much just show you what I wear like on a day-to-day. -day. A lot of these are kind of my go-to easy, like you can have dirty hair with them, you can pair them with you know, hats, random jewelry, just really simple, easy, effortless outfits, but you still look cute. So I'm gonna get into it. Um, I wasn't gonna include this outfit, but then I figured why not, because I threw it on anyway, and that's kind of the whole point of this video, um, is my outfit that I'm wearing today. So I work from home for the most part, and pretty much every day I wear like pajamas or sweatpants or a sweatsuit or whatever. But because Chase and I were hanging out today, I thought, oh, I'll, I'll wear jeans. Um, so let's get into it. So today I just have on this basic white t-shirt. I've got um, these Levi's like dad jeans. They're like probably two sizes too big because they, I wear them like kind of low rise, uh, which I like. And then I've just got on my like Ugg Tess Tasman slippers, the ones that everyone has. So yeah, the Levi's Ugg and then um, just a basic tee from Maritzia. Okay, I also wanted to mention um, effortless jewelry that you can wear um, with literally any outfit. So I pretty much wear the same jewelry every day. And I just go for like classic little huggy hoops. Um, gold is kind of my go-to. I've got a few like classic stackable bracelets and then just this necklace. And um, like I can link everything where it's all from, but it's really your preference, like whether you prefer gold um, to silver and you know, your sort of price range for jewelry. Most of mine is pretty affordable. It's like pretty much all Pilgrim um, jewelry, which is like elevated costume jewelry brand, I guess. Um, it does kind of tarnish over time, like after showering with it on um, or swimming with it on, which I do because I'm super lazy. It's not like I'm gonna take it off every night. Um, like there's no point in that. So yeah, anyway, that's the jewelry I wear, but I just try to keep it simple um, so that it goes with all of the outfits. Okay, so the first outfit I wanted to show you was um, like a pretty classic outfit that I tend to put on, just these blue trousers from Abercrombie & Fitch. They are my favorite. Everything will be linked. Um, so these are just so comfy, but I also feel like they make the outfit just like really pull together. It makes you feel like you're in like, I guess a tighter track pant because they are high-waisted, but they're just so loose and easy to wear. And then I tend to always pair these types of pants and these pants specifically with a crew neck sweater. So this one is Anine Bing. Um, it's a little bit on the pricier side, but I know Abercrombie has like tons of crew necks, like the boyfriend crew neck sweaters um, that always go on sale. So that's a really good option. Um, and then I've just like tucked it into my bra. So it's like a little bit more cropped, but this is a good go-to. And then I just paired it with these um, New Balance, like dad shoes, which I think are super cute and they just like dress the whole thing down and like make you look like you're not really trying. And you're not really because it's a super easy fit to put on. Um, so yeah, this is the outfit. Um, the New Balances I got from Bigley's, but you can definitely get them online, I think at New Balance or probably Little Burgundy, lots of stores like that. Um, but I would go to Bigley's. And then the sweater is just from uh, Revolve. And then I thought, okay, well, I'm gonna have to go outside. So I'm gonna put on this beige trench, um, like wool trench coat. This is also from Abercrombie and I'm pretty sure it's on sale as well. So um, yeah, lots of Abercrombie and uh, yeah, this is just how I would dress down the blue trousers. They also have lots of other colors. I've been really looking at the, the gray ones, but I have probably too many trousers, so that's the look. Okay, 
So this next look is with the same trousers that I had on from before, the Abercrombie trousers, and I've just dressed it up a little bit. So I paired them with this um, cropped sh uh, shoulder pad tank from Aritzia. Um, this is, I think, Wilfred, and I got it in a size extra small. They definitely fit small, so if you, you want to size down for sure. And then for shoes, I just paired them with um, these Steve Madden, I don't know the name of the boots, but they're just like a calf, like mid-calf booty. And I'm obsessed with these boots. They have such a chunky heel. So you don't really like feel your feet hurt in them, which is kind of nice. And then all of the same jewelry. It's just, you know, dressed up a little bit. And I actually wore this for one of our like Christmas dinners. Um, maybe the tank top isn't everyone's favorite, but I run at a high heat, so I like wearing tank tops. Um, but yeah, this is just the outfit dressed up a little bit. You could pair it with a little belt. Um, you could even wear this top, these pants, and the sneakers if you want to keep it dressed down. Um, and then I would either wear the trench coat that I had on earlier, or this is a classic go-to jacket. And the two jackets that I have on that I've worn so far are the only jackets that I'm pairing with these outfits. So this is just a vegan leather short puffer from Abercrombie. Everything's from Abercrombie, pretty much, because I love it. Um, and you, this might even be on sale. They always have sales, 20%, 25 I think all of their winter stuff is on sale. So anyway, this is the look. Okay, so this next outfit is one of my absolute favorites. These pants are everything. They are from Princess Polly. They are like a low rise um, trouser as well, I guess. I just really like trousers. Um, and then they have the two buttons here. So cute. I've seen lots of different um, styles of these pants on like Urban Outfitters, different colors on Princess Polly. Um, I was inspired by my friend Emma. She thrifted her pair. So anyway, super cute and like pretty affordable. I'm wearing a size four. I feel like they kind of are tight, like around my thighs and stuff. I definitely need to squat. So I don't know, maybe size up or just like don't put them in the dryer. And then I paired them with another shirt from Princess Polly. This is just like a high neck tank. Don't mind my bra. This isn't the bra that you'd be wearing with it. Um, but yeah, this is like a classic go-to for me. I wear this shirt under like nice sweaters, under hoodies, with workout gear, literally with everything. It's one of my favorites. Um, and I'm gonna pair it again as well. And then over top, just because these are winter looks, I paired it with um, this classic Aritzia cardigan. I think like probably every girl watching this has this cardigan, so it shouldn't be hard to, uh, yeah, Chase has it too. Shouldn't be hard to recreate this look. And then to like dress it down, I know this seems like a little bit of a fancier outfit maybe. I, I don't know. It's still like fun and cute and easy to put on, um, but I dressed it down again with my New Balance sneakers. So it's very like different, but I think it's kind of cute. And then also if I were to dress this up and like not change anything but the shoes, I would just put on my black boots that I had on before. So. This is another fave. These pants are just like everything to me. Um, but I will show you how another way I would dress it up. Too. Okay, so this next outfit is the same trousers that I had on before, the low rise Princess Polly ones. And then I just paired it with this um, like shirt vest from Maritzia. This is a size small. I feel like this vest kind of fits small as well. Like, if someone had like a larger chest, you might want to size up because I don't even have any chest and it it's, feels constraining. I also have like kind of a thick rib cage. So anyway, um, yeah, this vest, these pants, I would probably put on like a little bit more, I would make a little bit more of an effort with my jewelry in this kind of look, like maybe a bit of a chunky necklace here. And then I just paired it with the black boots. These are like so classic and so good. Um, and yeah, Emma, if you're watching, you are my fashion inspo for all of these. So I have to give credit to Emma for this one because she was basically wearing this exact outfit on my birthday and now it's my like go-to going out outfit. So yeah. Oh, and then for a jacket, again, 
I would probably wear my vegan leather just because I like it and I like how you can like see my legs and stuff with this jacket. Um, but I will put on the trench coat as well just to show you. That's the trench. So the trench definitely like dresses it up whereas the vegan leather dresses it down. Both are good options and I feel like both are good to have in the closet. Another way to dress it down too is if you don't have the cropped vegan jacket or like cropped puffer jacket, um, a long puffer jacket would be cute too or like an oversized leather jacket. There's lots of jackets. We are taking a small break for a very cute little visitor and some lunch. Do it. You can. Okay, so this next outfit, I put on some denim. These are EB denim um, jeans. They have a slit at the bottom, which I absolutely love. And um, yeah, these kind, these jeans are a little bit on the pricier side too. Like, I feel like you could definitely get um, other ones that are more affordable with the slit. I just love the slit because I feel like it adds, I don't know, something different to the outfit. And I just paired it with this like baggy t-shirt that is Anine Bing as well for a more like casual grunge look. I also feel like because they're like more high-waisted, I don't know, I don't really want to wear like a super tight crop top or something. I prefer to wear something a little bit baggier, even like a hoodie. Um, and then I wore these like studded kind of combat -y heeled boots that are Vince Camuto. They are my absolute favorite boots ever. I don't even know, I got them like two years ago. Um, they come out with a different style every year, so you could probably get a similar pair now. Um, but yeah, I feel like they're a perfect boot to pair with these jeans because they're really long. So if you're shorter, you definitely wanna wear something with a little bit of a heel. Another pair of boots that I tend to pair with these jeans are my um, platform Uggs. So those are a good pair too. Um, so yeah, this is just like a simple, easy, kind of like casual outfit, I guess. Um, but like laid back because of the baggy t-shirt. And then, of course, if I was going outside, I would wear the, uh, the vegan leather cropped puffer. And same jewelry all around, you know? Just chill. Very, very chill. So next, I will dress up these jeans. Okay, so this next outfit, I've got the same jeans on, I've got the same Vince Camuto boots. This outfit is um, credited to Emma as well because I stole it from her. She was wearing it one time, I was pregnant, couldn't enjoy the corset look. Well, now I can. So the first thing I did after I had Forbes was buy this corset <laughs> and the other top that goes with it. So this corset is from Urban Outfitters. It's such a good, classic piece I feel like to have in the closet because you can wear it for a girl's night out, you can dress it up, you can dress it down. It's like super sexy, chic, classy. It's just everything kind of all in one. Um, I'm wearing it tucked in, but it like comes to about here. So you could also wear it like with a pair of low rise pants. I just feel like it's a really versatile piece and it's like decently affordable um, for a corset. So I'm wearing it again with the EB denim jeans, but I know you can definitely get like the slit jeans from Abercrombie, Zara, like everywhere sells the uh, slit jeans now. So when Emma wore this, she had it over top. This shirt is like um, a satin kind of over shirt from Abercrombie. Um, I don't know if they still sell it, but they sell similar ones for sure. And she just had it like tied over top, which I felt like was so cute. So you kind of see like the corset, but it's also like covered up a little bit. Um, and that was that. So this was one way to wear it, but then she also switched it around and wore it another way, which is my like major inspiration. So I will show you that as well. Okay, so this is another way to wear the shirts. I would be lying if I said this was the most comfortable of outfits, but I think it's cute and something different. Um, 
if you're like wanting to dress up a little bit and not having to wear it for that long of a time. So I, uh, okay. I did up two buttons underneath and then I like pulled the satin shirt to the back so it was a little bit tighter but still baggier up here. I let the bottom kind of flow out so I just like tucked it in and then put a lot of it to the back of my pants. Um, and yeah, I just feel like, you know, it's still casual because you've got the jeans, you've got like sort of the combat boots, but you're dressing it up with the two shirts and it's, I don't know, you get like multiple looks for just a few different pieces. And then again, I would still pair it with likely the, uh, the vegan leather. It's just my go-to. And this dresses it down a bit too. So just, you know, the look. This isn't something I would wear all the time, but for something a little bit different, if you're going out for lunch or like a day date and don't really know what to wear, want to elevate the outfit a little bit, I feel like this is a good look to do that. Okay, so for this last look, I've kind of reused a couple of pieces. So I've got the Anine Bang hoodie that I had on earlier. I have the um, like black high neck tank top that I was talking about from Princess Polly and I've got my New Balance sneakers on. So all that's different with this look is I've added a pair of like black low rise or high rise depending because they're adjustable in the waist parachute pants. So these are from local European. Um, I'm obsessed. I have a white pair as well. My white pair cinches in at the bottom which I kind of like a little bit better but obviously white doesn't really work for the time of year right now. Um, so these are the black ones. I think they're called the parachute pants, um, but you can get like these types of pants everywhere as well. I know like everywhere is beginning to sell big, like baggy parachute pants. Um, note to self, don't put them in the dryer. You don't have to size up for them to be baggy, but so I think I got like an extra small, small, put them in the dryer and now like they kind of feel like floods, but whatever. So anyway, this is just like a casual kind of outfit to wear, I don't know, if you're working from home, around the house, whatever. Um, yeah, it's like pretty cropped, but you can always like pull the pants up if you don't want it to be like super belly. Um, and then I also thought pairing it with the sweater over the shoulders or even putting the sweater on, it gives me like Hailey Bieber vibes. Cause this is something she would wear, I feel. So yeah, very casual, super comfy, but also different in like with the trends right now. And again, I would definitely, this is like the go-to jacket. If you had to pick between this jacket or the trench jacket, this is the one. So this is how I would wear it. And yeah, super cute and casual. You could also, I feel like, wear the trench jacket with this outfit. It's just a little bit different of a vibe. But like, still cute. This just kind of takes over the outfit. I feel like it's nice when you're wearing something like a little bit dainty underneath, so you can see it. But it also is very warm, which is nice. Um, and then I'll quickly dress these pants up and that's that. Okay, last but not least, I know it looks like I'm wearing the exact same outfit, which I am, except I changed my shoes. So I tucked these pants into my Steve Madden booties. I don't know if you can see them from there, but um, it just gives it a little bit more of like an army vibe, but you're still wearing the literal exact same shirt and pants. So you literally have to change nothing but the boots. So if you have a pair of um, like combat boots, any kind of like tighter boot around the calf to tuck the pants in, and it just like changes the look ever so slightly, but you're not purchasing a bunch of items to add to the closet to have like a completely new look to go out or to dress it up a little bit. So yeah, I feel like this isn't something maybe that would be my go-to, but it's definitely something that's nice to have as an option and something you can recreate from things that you already own, which I like. So, you know, you're not breaking the bank necessarily. Um, and everything is like pretty affordable. So yeah, and then again, 
like I would probably wear the vegan leather coat with this outfit. Um, and this even could be like a dress up, dress down. Yeah, you've got the fancy boots, but everything else is pretty casual. So yeah, that's the last of it. So that is the end of today's video. I hope you guys all enjoyed. I really tried to come up with ways to reuse items so that, like I said, you're not breaking the bank and you know utilizing the clothes to the best of their ability that are in your closet already. Um, yeah, like, you know, tank tops and bellies maybe aren't ideal for winter time, but that's when you bring in the cardigan, the sweater over the shoulders, the sweater around the waist, that kind of stuff. Um, and then I also didn't really mention, but for me, a lot of the time, like if I was going to a house party or an event somewhere inside that like you wouldn't want to wear your outdoor shoes inside, but the shoes kind of make the outfit. I just wear my winter boots outside. Um, through the snow, all of that. We all understand that being in Canada. And then bring the extra pair of shoes or cute slippers to wear inside, which seems like an obvious tip and maybe you feel like you're extra doing that, but you're not, okay? It's fashion. It's what you feel confident in and that's what matters. So if you like the video, um, let me know. You can text me personally because that's all who's watching. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching and supporting my channel.